Right, so in this video I just thought I'd show how I'm actually monitoring the amount of power that I'm actually using in the van. Uh, a previous video that I filmed, which is on my channel, showed how I wired one of these cheap power meters up onto my solar panels. Uh, now with those wired onto the solar panels in between the solar panel and the controller, it actually displays exactly how much wattage is being generated by the solar panels. Uh, so you can see exactly how many watts and of which turns into amps is uh, flowing through into the battery to charge the battery. Now these little watt meters are really cheap, they're only around about a £10 each, something like that. And I was really impressed with the solar panel one so I thought I'd buy a second one, uh, which is now linked between my battery bank, which is just in there, and my fuse box, which is just behind my ramps. So I've got a main power cable going from my battery bank down to the source in on a power meter here then the load side is going down and out into the fuse box so everything that's going to be going through the fuse panel is still going to pass through this little watt meter so I can then see exactly how much each individual appliance is using how much power I've used during the day just so I can then sort of roughly estimate how much power I would expect to need to top the batteries back up with either with solar or with a split charge system just to be sure that when you're camping off grid you're not going to be running out of power so at the moment it's all wired up but I don't have any appliances turned on on this one at the moment the one above it is for the solar and the solar is turned on so as you can see the solar panels are currently generating 18 watts which is translating into 1.3 amps of charging power now the outflowing power as I say nothing is turned on in the van at the moment so you can see the batteries are showing 12.9 volts of charge that's because the solar panel is currently topping them up at the moment so now as I start to turn appliances on you'll be able to see the amount of watts just in this bottom corner here that'll start to increase and in turn that will show you how many amps you're using from the battery so for example I've got a few of these spotlights kicking around in the van these are rated at 3 amp each uh, sorry 3 watts each so if I turn the lights on and just turn my spotlights off so as I say these little spotlights are rated at 3 watts each so at the moment there's nothing showing on there at all so if I just slowly turn on the spotlight you should be able to see an increase in 3 watts each as each light gets turned on so there's the first one turned on and you can see that's running at 3 point well pretty much spot on 2.9 to 3 watts exactly what the light should be that's just with the one light so now if I choose a second light so that's both of the, uh, the top overhead lights on that should be showing 6 watts of which it is and 6 watts is half an amp of battery charge so you can see just by having those two spotlights on I'm using 6 watts of power which is just under half an amp now if I turn those off and run something like a 12 volt laptop charger now this is a step charger that you can use to power laptops and it will down volt or up volt to any sort of amperage that the laptops require now this one is one of the uh, 16 volt ones so if I just turn on my auxiliary on the switch panel and turn the laptop on hasn't been turned on in a while so not only will the power of the laptop be charging the battery but it's also requiring the battery to boot up as well so as you can see there with the laptop on just the laptop that's using anywhere between 20 and 60 watts now obviously that is because it is still charging the battery and booting the laptop at the same time but you can see up there it's fluctuating anywhere between three well two and a half and uh, five amp but as I say, this is just while the laptop's booting once it's booted up and got into windows itself and it's just trickle charging the battery the power requirements will actually drop down so that should probably start to settle pretty round about the uh, 20 to 30 watt range uh, once it's finished booting up into windows and as you can see the wattage is starting to slowly creep down there now so obviously with laptop on and then if I do turn a couple of lights on as well that's only going to increase the wattage that it's showing but again it's still not flying up too much 
So if you everyone, it's just a, a really cheap and easy way to, to find out exactly how much power any appliances in the van might be drawing if you're unsure or if it might be like a v variable charge like a laptop it might say that it might need a power rating of say 30 40 50 watts but it's not going to be using that constantly all the time so if you ever wanted to be sure just to see exactly how much charge or how much power that each appliance is uh, are using within the van one of these cheap power meters are, as i say they're less than 10 pound each off ebay really really simple to wire in and it gives you all sorts of different information so as I can see straight away from there that while the laptop's still booting up it's just finished booting but it's still charging the battery from flat that's using around about 50 watts which is around about 4 amps and as I say that will drop down once the battery is fully charged but obviously you wouldn't know that without having some sort of power meter in just to actually see exactly how much power is being used within the van so again it can be used for anything for while you're running Propex heater that I've got in under there uh, if you're just wondering what sort of power spike occurs when you're running a submersible pump with a tap or anything like that you could easily just keep an eye on the power meter, run whatever you need to and see exactly how much power is used so there you go that's a really cheap easy way just to see exactly how much power any appliances are using on 12 volts throughout the van it's literally two power, two power lines in two power lines straight back out and they can be wired in between battery banks and fuse boxes or literally right in between a power source and the appliance itself so if you wanted to find out exactly how much power just one particular appliance was using you could just wire this directly in between there as well so there you go that's where I've got my two power meters set up one to monitor the solar charge which you can see there it's still generating just over an amp and this is in mid November so I'm not really expecting a massive amount of solar charge at the moment anyway and while the laptop's still currently charging, you can see there that's running around about four and a half amps. But as I said, that will fluctuate greatly once the battery is actually fully charged. Once the battery is charged on the laptop, then that power requirement will drop right down. And if you're running something like a TV, that will be more of a constant power uh, drain rather than the fluctuation that a laptop might do. But yeah, I just uh, thought I'd make a quick video of that. I know it will help some people who might just be wondering how they can see exactly how much power is being used within the van. Now, say for the sake of less than ten pound each, they're really worth it. They are a really nice, quick, easy piece of kit to wire in, and it gives some really useful information reading out. So there you go. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, feel free to have a look at my channel. I'm documenting the entire conversion of this high top on my uh, YouTube channel. Everything from insulation. Uh, carpet in the panels, fitting sinks, toilets, fridge, flooring, everything's on there so feel free to have a look at my channel for different videos of the campervan conversion and if you found this video useful please rate it and feel free to share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, cheers.